Hi friends, it's Miss Emily from the main branch of the Charleston County Public Library here today to talk to you about a fun sensory art activity that you can engage in with your littles this fall. Uh, I don't know about you, but whenever fall starts and temperatures start to cool down a little bit, I really think about getting in my kitchen and baking. And one of the things that I associate that with is all those wonderful spices that you used to bake with. Um, so today's activity is going to involve those spices in a way, and we're gonna do some sensory art. Sensory art is a type of sensory play, and sensory play is anything that includes movement and engages one of the child's five senses. Sensory play is great. It encourages exploration, investigation, deep thinking, and can also be really helpful for mindfulness and self-regulation. So it's something we try to include in our routines, and when we're doing regular programming, definitely something that we like to bring to you. Since we can't do in-person programming right now, this is a great activity to do with your little ones at home, and it's really easy. All you need are spices. I have with me paprika, cinnamon, because I can't think of anything that smells more fall than cinnamon to me, allspice, and turmeric. And I included turmeric because of the beautiful yellow color. Um, just be careful when painting with little ones, it can be staining, but you can use whatever spices that you have in your kitchen. Uh, and then for every spice that you have, I have a cup of white paint that I have already poured out. It's just washable white paint. We have a pretty big one at the library, but you can get a smaller one at the craft store. So it's really simple. You just get your spices and for each cup of paint that you have, you put some spices in. Um, the more spice that you put in, the deeper the color that will result. Um, so start with paprika. I'm just gonna open it. It's a beautiful red color, so I'm hoping I'll get a red paint. Help your kiddo too. This could be a great opportunity to, you know, use tablespoons or teaspoons to learn about measuring as well if you want to do an extension activity. Then I'm just gonna stir it into the white paint to see the color that results. And while you're doing that, take time to really practice mindfulness with your kids. Ask them to smell it. What does it smell like? Does it remind them of anything that you cook? It's a really good way to talk about both being aware of our bodies in the present moment and also, you know, what these spices evoke for you. So I've got my paprika and it turned into a kind of like a coffee, like coffee brown. So now I'm gonna try my cinnamon. And remember with this type of sensory and process art, we're really not trying to create anything specific. It's getting there is the whole fun of it, you know, enjoying the smells. And if you make a little mess, I did as I was pouring my cinnamon, that's totally okay. It's just about engaging with your kiddo and having these great conversations about everything that you're seeing, smelling, feeling, hearing, teaching them that art is, you know, about enjoyment. So I've got my cinnamon, I'm gonna mix that. I do have separate paint brushes for every single one of my colors just to make it easy for when I'm ready to paint. My cinnamon is still looking pretty white with just a tinge of brown to it, but I think I'm okay with it. It smells so wonderful. This one's my favorite, I knew it would be. Now I've got my turmeric, which is again, it's using a lot of Indian cooking. It's very yellow and it does stain, so I would caution you to either help your kiddos with this one or, you know, don some super cute matching aprons and take a picture and share it with us on social media, of course. I love this color. I love to cook this color too. I cook with it a lot in my butternut squash soup that I make during the fall. Again, all of these spices are really reminiscent of fall for me. You could do this during any season, but I, for me, I just associate it with fall. Still getting, I'm getting a light yellow but mm, I can smell it. I'm gonna add some more turmeric. And the thing too is as you're doing this and if your kids are painting and they don't quite like the color, just remember you can add more spice. If so you wanna start out light, that's totally fine. Half of the uh, enjoyment of it is the, the sensory part, you know, the scent. Got like a yellow there, I'm not sure if you can see it quite well. And then I am gonna do allspice. I use allspice in like my gingerbread and different more wintry things. So it's got a pretty heavy scent to it, but it also reminds me of cozy nights, cuddled up, 
to movie something in the oven. Just really for me, the scents evoke a sense of nostalgia and they might for your little one as well. So now that I've got everything stirred up, I've got my different colors. Some of them are quite different from one another. You see the cinnamon and the turmeric are quite different colors, whereas the paprika and the allspice, they didn't come out too differently, but the scent is what will distinguish them. I'm just gonna start painting and you and your kiddos can try to paint something that reminds you of fall, like a pumpkin or a leaf or an acorn, or you can just do it all away. That's what I'm probably gonna do. Just enjoy the sensory and just really learning and reinforcing the idea that art and creativity can come from the most unexpected places. Um, you know, you may not think of your spices being a way to do art, oh, but I can smell the cinnamon now. It's making it so much more enjoyable. And that is, you know, encouraging your kids to creatively think. It's the same idea behind um, some people use, you know, food scraps for dye, to dye clothing. Um, hibiscus or avocado pits, things like that. I haven't done that myself, but I know that's another common use. So conversations about, you know, how what we have at home can be just as useful for creativity that you don't really have to spend a lot of money on art supplies. I mean, you're more than welcome to if you can, but if not, I mean, how often do we buy a jar of spice for one recipe that we then never use it again for? I know that happens to me a lot. Why do you think I had all of these spices on hand? It's kind of cool to see too. There's the amount of spice that I stirred into each paint definitely affects the consistency of the paint, how thin or thick it is, which is interesting. So here's my very simple, not complex heart drawing, but what you can't see or smell. You can't smell the wonderful scents associated with it. And um, this is definitely something that when I'm stressed out, I could see myself going back to for that mindfulness, that self-regulation, that reminder to just take a deep, deep breath and really experience being present and whole in the situation. And also reminding me of all these wonderful fall activities that I love and that I'm glad to enjoy now that the temperatures are getting colder. So that's a little bit of an exploration art project here that I've been enjoying. I hope you guys do it at home. If you do, like I said, feel free to don your cutest apron and chef's hats and send us a picture. We'd love to see what you're up to. Um, come visit us in the library if you're feeling comfortable. We'd love to see you and I hope you're having a great day, a great week, and a great fall.